Hey, 42 here. In 1414, the son of King Charles VI of France sent the King of England, Henry V, a gift of tennis balls. And because everyone was absolutely bloody mental back then, the tennis-loving Henry took this rather thoughtful present as a grave insult. As payback for the unforgivable slight, he invaded France. Okay, so I've simplified that just a tad. Tensions between France and England had been on the rise for some time. But even so, a simple gift of tennis balls ultimately played a key role in kicking off what we now know as the Agincourt campaign. One of the most significant conflicts in European history. Well, maybe. The story of the gifted tennis balls has been told for centuries. It even crops up in Shakespeare's Henry V. But some modern historians suspect it might never have actually happened. Historical sources are a little shaky on the subject, and it's perfectly possible the story is apocryphal. Either way, Henry V's unwelcomed balls isn't the only time this not-so-humble sport of tennis has shaped the history of our species. For example, the Agincourt campaign was a part of the Hundred Years' War, a colossal conflict that might never have even happened in the first place if not for tennis. You see, the first known tennis player in all of history was some bloke called Louis. Full name, Louis X, King of France. After a particularly feisty tennis match on the 5th of June, 1316, old Louis found himself in urgent need of a drink. This being precisely 649 years before the invention of Gatorade, he quenched his mighty thirst with an astonishing volume of chilled wine. And then he died. King Louis was just 26 at the time, and his death was the beginning of the end of the venerable Capetian dynasty that had reigned over France for almost 350 